Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today I am showcasing a new tech GC-8810DW um, direct drive wick sewing machine, post bed uh, and I'm gonna go over it, I'm gonna show you today we have a different camera lady so um, we're gonna, this is her first time, but she's very, very, very good at uh, uh, taking videos. But anyways, so um, everything is the same. The tables, I'm gonna go over everything. So this is a post bed. This is what's called post bed. And it's the same as the ADA 10 d that we have, but that one doesn't have the wall. W stand for Wigs. So this is actually you make wigs or add those, the hair lines to the wig. And this is the machine for that. The main difference with this machine and other brands of the wig machine is that this machine is direct drive. No external motor. This is the motor of the machine. This is where everything's happening, right here. Okay, no belt no belt covers, none of that stuff. Everything is right here. And it has reverse, obviously, uh, stitch length right here, automatic bobbin winder right here. And uh, this machine has the oil pan so you could put oil in there. This won't go, everything that all the oil that goes in here, and this is a pump. If you could do a close up right here. This is a pump, and that's what uh, takes the oil all the way up to the head, through the head, so it could be um, working faster. Now, when you get the oil, you pour everything inside, and uh, this machine going to a customer, she requested that have a T-leg with wheels. This is a three inch T-leg with wheels that we already assembled the machine for the customer and it's going out too. The machine comes with table, with a thread stand right there, with two spool thread stand right there. Comes with an LED lamp right here and comes with an built-in right here LED lamp. There is a built-in LED lamp that you see right here. Now, uh, uh, you got this, what do you call this? Drawer. Drawer right here. Wheels, everything, ready to go. And the control panel right here. Also, you will get the uh, instruction for the control panel and the paper or the owner's manual with the art parts and stuff. But I'm gonna go try to go over it and show you how it's done. You could you also get a couple of um, screwdrivers, needles, bobbins and stuff on the um, extra accessories. So, Okay, so the table, I've done this many, many times, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Uh, the table, the overall length of the table, 47 Woo. by 21. This particular labor, uh, I mean, um, table, the length, I mean, the height is up to 31 inch right here, right? And then, the machine itself, the height of the machine is about, from the table is about 16 or 17 inch. The post is seven inch, okay? The bed of the machine is 20 inch. That's from one side to here is 20 inch. The width is seven inch. Okay, uh, do we need to do this? If you wanna know how big this is, 
23 inch from one end to the other end. And, uh, okay, let's do the wheel. I mean, the ball. I think this would be about five inch from one end to the other. And, and if I wanted to go around it, probably, I would say the whole thing around here would be 10 inch to want to go around it. Uh, there is bobbin in here. You open when you want to change the bobbin, just pull this back and bobbin in here. No bobbin case. It's, uh, you just drop it in there and you lock it right there. And um, what else do we have to, okay. So with this one, you'll know the foot is a high shank foot, meaning that you're not gonna have any problem finding any food for this machine, really. Uh, it's, um, you could use any type of high shank that you use on industrial sewing machine. Like let's say this is a regular foot, but if I wanted to show them this three, some people like to use cording food. These are cording, like small, tiny foot. Some people use them for zippers. Um, left, right, and this tiny one, yeah. Uh, you could use that. It's a normal, everyday sewing machine fit for um, high shank. Now, very normal, the way this control panel works that there is needle positioning already on the machine, meaning that whenever I sew, this is a knee lifter, you also have a knee lifter, but I mean, you have a hand, Lift the foot from right here. Knee lift the right here. Right. And we're gonna start going. Is it on? Should be on. So now I'm gonna put this on a jack for you guys to see that a five millimeter length. See, whenever I stop, it comes up. It really stays down. So when this is set, the needle is set. This is the needle position. But as you could see, if you go back here, usually needle positions are here. These are for the machine that have external motor. Since this is an internal, or direct drive motor, everything is uh, happening from here. There is a booklet that comes with this that tells you you want the needle up or down. So right now, when I sew, and when I stop, needle goes down because I wanted it to go down. Meaning I could, when the needle is down again, I could just turn, let's say imagine the week, I was looking for a week today, to see if I could try this with a wig, but anyways, I didn't find one. When I'm sewing, the needle stays down. So when I go to the knee lifter, let's say, and the foot goes up, I'm not gonna lose my space. I could, the needle stays down, I'm not losing my space for the thread, I just go the way I want, right? Okay, now, but if I go down, and now I wanna just finish, pedal and this one come up. So now the next one just show the, the foot. Needle down, I'm done. I'm gonna just show here. I'm gonna press backwards and we'll pop out. So then you could put your hand needle and this is a plus on this machine. No one has, not a machine has this one. You wanna pull your thread out you see this one releases all the tension. You could just go like this and you put your either. Now, this is the real, I mean, this is heavy stuff, look. Back stitch, if you could show, come on, close up. This is a back stitch, maybe need some light. And this is the front, now the front is all black, but let's say here. By the way, this is the one that came from the factory. This is vinyl. 
Now, if you do wigs and you do other heavy stuff, you could totally use this machine for making cap for uh, people that are uh, doing different stuff. Something that sits in here. But if you're doing something that needs a smaller post, you gotta take this cap off or this um, uh, ball out, which I don't rec recommend that. But in general, this is a high shank fit. You could find many, many type of fit for it on our website. It's a high shank normal. All the bobbins, everything is. Now, by the way, when we're sewing, let me do this, and you could see that we have this setup already that is already, um, is already working doing the bobbin. Now, whenever it stops, whenever it's full, it will stop and it goes back. So you have more bobbin available here, the thread to go. So I work with it. See, it's going up and down. So all of this thing is included in this uh, beautiful, beautiful sewing machine by NewTek. Again, NewTek GC-8810 DW is a uh, weak post bed sewing machine. Uh, this setup is with wheels, all ready to go. I would rather you guys buy it and assemble it at home, uh, honestly. But this is going out to a very special customer that is making wigs for cancer patient. And um, I'm very proud of her for doing this and she's doing it for free. I wish I had her name, but I don't have her name to give a shout out to her, but she's doing, putting her life for making wigs for pe people, people that have uh, need for wigs for free. Uh, call me if you have any question. This is David from goldstartool.com. Go like, thumbs up, and let me know what you want me to do next for you guys. Thank you for watching.